hundreds of such dhols cat samples then make their journey to the lab the first step is to remove all the gunk and get the dna out of the cat for this we use a bunch of enzymes and buffers after a lot of blood sweat and tears we get the dna out dna as you know is deoxyribonucleic acid it's formed of nucleotides a c t and g these are little unique building blocks because every single animal or individual on earth has a different sequence a c t g a t c g a t g c it just keeps on going now with a small piece of whole dna from its scat the researchers use something called next generation sequencing or ngs and in a lab they are able to extend that piece and tell the whole story of the whole dna and then of course they have to sit and read through all of that huh not really there are computers that do that work for them it's a massive amount of data and what it gives you is the unique signature of each doll we use bioinformatic tools on a computer to compare all the scat samples and figure out did this shit come from the same doll or different dolls so using this they are able to tell everything they need to learn about doll population dynamics that's very useful when we're talking about an endangered species that is so difficult to see in the wild even in areas of human habitation like plantations damn that's a lot to get from a mound of shit shit